there is a reason yeah, that we're yeah, here. Yeah. And the reason is that uh, Hamilton Community Foundation is celebrating 60 years, and frankly, your dad was an early builder, not only a board chair, but a significant contributor. Patrol, uh, Pioneer Petroleum has been a huge benefactor, not only now, Hamilton. Now Pioneer Energy. Pioneer now Energy, Pioneer. okay, so yeah. we stand corrected. Right. Um, but uh, you had the same role in Brantford, in Burlington, right. in your dad's hometown of Napanee, but particularly here in Hamilton, mm -hmm. where the business started. and. On, on the 28th of this month, which is a, uh, a Saturday coming up, uh, as a token of thanks to the community, all of the recreation, conservation, museum, and artistic facilities in this community, mm -hmm. uh, the RBG, the Art Gallery of Hamilton, the War Plain Heritage, all of the pools and rec centers will be open free to say thank you. And that's part of the contribution of Pioneer Energy. And I want to—I would just want you to reflect upon the family history, because you mentioned the why, which is another mm -hmm. place that mm -hmm. you've spent a great amount of time. You've given a great amount of your time to, to men and women in mm -hmm. the Canadian military. Talk to me particularly about the Community Foundation first, but then more broadly about the community and the founders' vision of why it is we have to give back. Because I think that well, was a big part if, of it. If, if, if I can just start, uh, you know, my, my father always believed uh, in the philosophy that, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, you get started in the community. Mm -hmm. and, and so you very much depend on the community to yeah. help you uh, get started and, and to help you achieve success. Mm -hmm. But once you've achieved that success and uh, and you've got some traction, yeah. then you have a responsibility at some point to give back to the community that helped you get your start. Yeah. And so that was very much his philosophy, and uh, and it's a uh, it's a philosophy that uh, prevails today, mm -hmm. and and it's very much part of our our culture, uh, and it's a feel good thing. Yeah. But uh, it it's started with my father and my mother. My mother right. also was it was a team effort. Yes, it mm -hmm. was. Um, both of them volunteered from our earliest days. Our memories. My mother was and the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Heart and Stroke Foundation and, uh, in yeah. Hamilton. Yeah. The Philharmonic of Hamilton, and uh, mm -hmm. my mother was involved with the art gallery, um, with, I um, uh, can't remember the other name of that charity she was involved with, but yeah, before Junior that, Junior League, yeah. Junior League yeah. that mm -hmm. was the yeah. one, and before that, uh, my father was a product of the, um, the Depression in the 30s. He was born in 1930, mm -hmm. and he always remembered his parents during the Depression there was a lot of transient people passing through Napanee, looking mm -hmm. for jobs, asking for help. He can remember uh, people showing up at his parents' back door asking for a meal. And uh, his parents providing a meal, uh, perhaps uh, letting them clean out the store and uh, get, get earning a few, few cents or dollars and uh, getting on their mm -hmm. way. And I think that uh, philosophy of giving back at that point started with my, my parents, uh, with their own parents uh, back in the 30s. So it didn't, it didn't just start with my father, it started with his parents. Which really is the spirit mm -hmm. of philanthropy, right? That yeah. we hand from one generation to another That's the right legacy right. and the responsibility to leave the place a little bit better than you found it. And, and we see that culturally with our, our, our own organization of our own employees, uh, retailers, and their staff doing things for their own causes uh, that they pick up and decide to do on their own because they see corporately we're doing it yeah. for, for causes that we're interested in. The, the children's uh, hospitals every year, our annual campaign, and uh, annually with uh, the Yellow mm -hmm. Ribbon campaign in the fall mm -hmm. for the uh, military families. So it's great. It's, it's that culture, it's a cultural attitude that has always been instilled in the organization from the earliest time and it's still there to this day our employees are showing it in their own endeavors so it's great yeah. to see 